to talk again about the tragedy inside a synagogue in Pennsylvania. We've been reporting on you what happened. 11 people died when a gunman entered the building and started shooting Saturday morning. Tonight, Indianapolis is scheduled to hold a special service to honor those victims and call for peace. We have a couple of guests for us this morning, kind enough to come in early with us. Rabbi Dennis Sasso from Congregation Beth El Zedek is, is here for us. Thanks for being with us this morning. Uh, th this is Lindsay Mintz with the Jewish Community Relations Council. A good perspective from both of you on this. Rabbi, I want to speak with you first. When you saw the news, what was your immediate reaction and what did you think about in terms of what you wanted to tell people when you had the opportunity? Well, I learned about it upon completing Sabbath uh, services at the congregation. And uh, the first thing that occurred to me is the irony that in the Jewish tradition, we greet each other Shabbat Shalom, a Sabbath of peace. And for these uh, families, uh, these uh, congregants that went to services that morning, this was anything but a Sabbath of peace, a tragic Sabbath of violence. So the first thing that occurred to me is how can I as a rabbi in the midst of this tragedy convey to my community a message of shalom. So we are coming together not only as a Jewish community but with the interfaith and civic communities to try to do that healing from here and convey our support to our uh, friends in Pittsburgh. In, in terms of your life of service you, you've often worked with people of different faiths uh, in many different ways. Re read his biography uh, <laughs> for a little bit and you'll see what I mean by that. But it, you're no stranger to reaching across uh, different theological aisles to, to, uh, to bring people together. I I'm presuming you do want not just Jews to focus on what's happened here, but everyone. Uh, unfortunately, the events that we saw directed at the Jewish community this weekend have been directed at other communities in the United States. Uh, minorities, we are unfortunately living through a period of a, uh, where we experience a, a climate of hostility and a rhetoric of hatred. And uh, the role of religion, uh, the role of civic uh, behavior is to come together and uh, bring to that uh, a message of uh, harmony, a message of cooperation, a message that America really does not stand for this. This is not just an act of anti-Semitism. This is an act of anti-Americanism. One of the difficult questions that I heard asked, and I'll echo it here again as well, Lindsay, for you. When you heard the news, you may have been shocked, but were you surprised? And what does that say about where we are right now? Um, my heart sank when I saw the news come through my uh, feed, but I wasn't surprised. Um, there's been a precipitous increase in anti-Semitic incidents and anti-Semitic rhetoric um, and in violent acts against Jews for several years now. For um, many years, the JCRC has received phone calls. I mean, we are the organization that is the Jewish community is not only our public policy arm, but also our, the, the arm that um, organizes how the Jewish community will combat anti-Semitism. And in my seven years as executive director, I've seen a steady increase of calls from parents uh, as young as middle schoolers, high school, certainly on college campuses, um, social media. It is, it is felt in all layers of society and particularly in the, in the Jewish community, among members of the Jewish community. So there's the question of what do you do moving forward? I guess the advice that you give to people who make that call, I've got kiddos, what do I tell them? And then functionally, do things change? Churches and synagogues have not always been open to all. Does that change? Well, I think there's, a, there's a, a greater sense of coming together. I mean, the first calls that I got after the news came in were from my partners in the Muslim community and the African American community and the Latino community, certainly um, faith leaders throughout the Christian community. I mean, there's a, a sense of we will stand with you, just as we have stood with other faith communities when their houses of worship has been targeted. So the, the sense of community, I think, will only increase, the resolve will only increase, um, but moving forward I think it's a matter of t really talking about about it at a very basic core human to human level and anytime somebody hears something 
oh, it's just a joke, oh, it doesn't matter, um, it needs to be stopped immediately at that, at that very early stage. Well, it's a conversation we could continue for hours. Time is short now, but we appreciate you starting it with us this morning on Daybreak. We'll be eager to see what other events evolve out of all of this, and of course the conversation continues. We'll cover it here on Daybreak. I want to make you aware of the event 5.30 this evening at the North Meridian Street location you see on your screen. Friends and neighbors are welcome, regardless of, of what faith you, uh, you feel uh, is in your heart. They say, join us as we gather as one community with the hashtag Squirrel Hill. It is 717 right now. Stephanie, let's talk a little bit about the